JustAZ.com Productions with Just AZ Aquatics DIY Sponge Aquarium Filter The sponge filter is simple to make and maintain. An excellent biological filter, it also provides mechanical filtration. It's built using a few common tools and maintenance on the filter only takes a few minutes. The filter is basically an airlift tube. It is a tube placed in the aquarium with an air line attached near the bottom. When air is pumped in, air causes the water to rise up and out of the tube. This water is then replaced by water drawn up from the bottom of the tube. For our sponge filter, we cap off the bottom of the tube. We then drill holes along the side of the tube. This is the area we're going to place our sponge. This causes the water being drawn in to pass through the sponge and the sponge captures any debris. This is the mechanical filtration. The sponge also acts as an environment for the beneficial bacteria to grow and thrive. This is our biological filtration. For this project, you will need a length of PVC pipe, an end cap, and a 90 degree elbow. I'm using half inch pipe, but you could use three quarter inch, one inch, or one and a half inch, whatever you have available. Just make sure all three parts are the same size. You will also need a ceramic tile, some airline tubing, an air pump, and of course, a sponge. It's optional, but you could also use an air stone. Attach the end cap to the tile. I did this using silicone. However, you can use hot glue or super glue gel. If you use super glue, make sure the glue says gel. The gel type is the only one that is fish safe. Regular super glue may be toxic to your fish. Measure the thickness of your sponge and cut a length of pipe, the thickness of the sponge, plus four inches. This sponge is two inches thick, so I cut my pipe six inches in length. Drill holes around the center two inch section of the pipe leaving two inches above and two inches below the section of the drill pipe. The drill portion of the pipe is where you're going to place the sponge. Drill a hole in the 90 degree elbow for the airline. Cut the sponge into a circle. The circle shape produces an even flow around the filter, but you could leave the sponge in its rectangular shape. Cut a small hole in the center of the sponge, just large enough for it to fit around the tube. To assemble this filter, fit the pipe into the cap on the tile. Slip the sponge over the tube, making sure that it covers the holes. Insert the airline tube into the 90 degree elbow. Make sure the tubing is below the level of the sponge. If you want to use an air stone, that will also need to be low the level of the sponge. And that's it, we're ready to test our filter. Sponges are buoyant, so the ceramic tile is needed to keep the sponge from floating around. You can always cover the tile with your substrate if you want to keep it hidden. When I turn on the pump, water is drawn into the sponge. Debris is trapped in the sponge and beneficial bacteria can grow on the surface and within the sponge. Once the water passes through the sponge, air lifts the water up and out the tube and back into the tank. Maintenance on this filter is simple. We start by removing some water from the tank.
remove the sponge and rinse it in the tank water. We then place the sponge back in the aquarium, release the air, and reassemble your filter. You never want to clean a sponge filter in tap water. That would destroy all the beneficial bacteria. A filter this size should be sufficient for a tank up to 20 gallons. For larger tanks, just drill more holes in a larger pipe and add more sponges. The low cost, easy construction, and effectiveness of a sponge filter make it one of the best filters for a DIY project for your aquarium. Thanks for watching. Questions or comments? Put them in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel for more videos on the DIY lifestyle.